Hussein took his brother and closed his eyes as he asked him to and washed his body and wrapped him in a shroud and then he carried him and took him towards the grave of their grandfather and as they approached there was a gathering of the Bani Umayyah with Marwan ibn al-Hakam with Aisha bint Abu Bakr <sighs> Aisha was on a mule and she went and stood in front of the place where the Prophet is buried and she said, I will accept no one come near here to be buried here. Muhammad ibn al Hanafiya, the brother of Imam al Hassan, said, One day on a camel, one day on a mule. She looked at him and said, What's it to you what happens with the sons of Fatima? Ibn Abbas then looked at her and said, You do know, and you guys do realize, you and Marwan, and everyone else here, you realize that if Hassan had wanted to be buried there, nothing would stop us from burying him there. The Bani Umayyah were getting ready to unsheathe their swords, as were the Banu Hashim. There was going to be a battle amongst the clans. Imam al-Hussein stopped everyone because of the request of Imam al-Hassan. And then he looked at the Banu Umayyah and told them, I swear to God, if my brother had not told me that he didn't want a drop of blood to be shed in his name, then the swords of God would have taken what they would have taken from you. You would have seen. But because of my brother and because of my promise to him, I will not fight on this day. Marwan ibn al-Hakam then ordered for arrows to be shot onto the coffin of Imam al Hassan. And at that point, Abu Fadl al-Abbas salam stood up. And how dare you shoot arrows at the coffin of my brother? But Imam al Hussein stopped him at that point. No one could stop Abu Fadl except Abu Abdullah. And as Abu Fadl always was obedient to his master, he was obedient there and stopped himself. Imam al Hussein stopped Abu Fadl al-Abbas and told them, This is for Hassan. Our Imam told us not to fight. They took the body of Imam al Hassan very painful moment to know that when the Prophet was dying, there was an election. Imam Ali was buried in secret. Fatima Zahra is buried in secret. Imam Al-Hassan has arrows shot at his body. And we didn't even get to what was to occur to the body of Imam Al-Hussein salam. This very painful moment as the Imam takes the body back, Imam Al-Hussein takes the body to Baqiyah and buries his brother with their grandmother. Is this the moment a brother buries his brother? Ya Hassan. In every path, in every moment in this life, we were together. With my grandfather, we were together. When we buried our mother, we were together. When we buried our father, we were together. When we carried him from the Masjid of Kufa, while he was bloodied, we were together. When we broke the news to Zainab, we were together. But now I bury you alone. He buries Imam al Hassan. He buries his brother. And now the weight, the burden, and the responsibility of being God's authority on earth is on the shoulders of Hussein ibn Ali. For the next 10 years, Imam al-Hussein would have to endure this oppressive rule of Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan. And then he would rise up against his tyrannical son Yazid ibn Muawiyah. 